Hello there, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be finally taking a look at Cyber Reason's new tool that is ransom free. I'll let the program explain itself. Cyber Reason is a company of elite former military cyber security experts, and thanks to their deep experience, they have been able to create services and intelligence that enables companies to stop attacks in real time. So this claims to be a completely zero-day or behavioral ransomware protection tool. I haven't been able to contact the developers or get to learn more about the backend functioning of this, but we are going to try it against a lot of ransomware today and we'll see how it fares. I have heard um, some mixed feedback regarding the effectiveness of this product. Some say that it's really good and um, some have reported that it does not block threats like Satana and Petya. So um, today we'll be trying it against a variety of ransomware. First of all, I'm going to try something really new to check its zero-day capabilities. So this file on the desktop, image.jpg, is actually an application. This is really new. I think it was first seen only a couple of days ago or so. And I believe this is a variant of the Russian roulette ransomware. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this and we'll see what happens. As you can see, this file was able to successfully execute. Now, I don't know if it managed to affect our files. So I'll take a look. And no, it did not affect our files. So it seems the program Ransom Free has done its job in protecting our files. Although we did have the application execute. So now I'm going to just try to find the process and end it. Wait, that doesn't seem to do it. There are multiple processes. I probably have to end the process tree over here. Uh, so there are two processes and I guess they spawn each other in case one dies, the other one just takes over. And Windows won't allow me to get rid of both of them at once, but, well, you get the point. I'm sure if I check in Task Manager, there'll be a new startup item, and if I disable this, then I should be able to get this annoying splash screen out of here. But we'll do that at the end. There are a lot of other files to go through, and our focus is going to be on our files, because, well... Removing ransomware is rather easy if uh, your files aren't affected. So that's not the focus of this video. Our focus is going to be on seeing if these files are affected. So now we'll move to Atom Locker, which isn't exactly a very sophisticated piece of ransomware. So I don't expect it to be able to go through ransom free, and it does not. This time it is actually detected, so I'm going to stop and clean the threat. There you go, the file has been renamed. Now we'll try out Cerber, which has been a devastating threat as of late. But once again, it fails to do any real damage. The application probably cannot do what it wants to do. So once again, we're going to stop the threat and clean it. Now we'll move to Phantom, the fake Windows update thing. And it doesn't seem to be able to take over the screen either. Let's try running it as admin. Still nothing, so I'll proceed to the Globe ransomware. Then we'll go ahead and run Jigsaw and Kangaroo. And then we'll move to Locky and uh, the rest of the threats, like Satana, Shade, Spora, and Goldeneye. It seems like our computer just crashed. I'm sure that was because of some kind of ransomware effect in the background. Let's check to see if our files are still intact. And they are, so we can continue the test. But it seems Cerber isn't giving up with uh, this little game here. It keeps signing us out and rebooting the system. So further action may be required to fix this computer or continue the test because it seems like Task Manager is also disabled at this point.
system just keeps rebooting endlessly. I think that's the wrath of server. Even if it cannot kill the system, it is going to try its best to ruin your day. Let's see if I can, oh, uh, no task manager. I'll have to use process explorer now. If I can get to it soon enough. Now, where are you? Server just keeps trying to encrypt our files and then restarts the computer whenever it's uh, not able to do so. Right, it seems like our system is finally settling down so I can continue with the test. Now I'm going to go ahead and run Jigsaw. Which is again, not a very sophisticated threat. Doesn't seem to be doing anything, so we'll proceed to Kangaroo. Seems like Jigsaw was blocked. It is renamed by Ransom Tree. Kangaroo also seems to have failed to do anything to our files. But now we'll get to the real deals. We'll get to Shade and then to Locky, which are both very infamous for doing their thing. Whoa, by the way, I just noticed a couple of server encrypted files. So it seems with the endless restart loop, Cerber did manage to encrypt some files while Cyber Reason Ransom Free was still loading. Attention. Oh. Attention. Your documents, photos, databases, and other important files have been encrypted. Your documents, photos, databases, and other important files have been encrypted. So that didn't take too long. We didn't even have to go through the difficult files like Spora and Shlaitana and Goldeneye. It seems like Cerber has finally overcome Ransom Free and has encrypted all of our files despite this thing running. So that shows that this product is still very early in terms of its development and uh, success rate is quite low, I'd say. Especially when you're a specific ransomware tool and you cannot deal with like 10 or 15 samples, you must be struggling. So I wouldn't exactly recommend this product at this point, if, even though it's free and there's really no downside to running it, it seems very light. I don't feel that it has enough to offer um, to consider adding it to your setup or relying on it for protection. So I'm going to try running Satana. Goldeneye surprisingly seems to have been blocked, so that's not too bad. Let's see if Satana is also blocked. So it seems it does have some kind of a signature component because it detects some files and it doesn't detect some, but still prevents them from modifying your files. So that is a little bit confusing to me. Let's go ahead and try Petya on the system too. Let's just try the green variant because I guess that's newer. At this point, even right-clicking on my taskbar is not working. And our system just rebooted. Let's see. Oh, there we go. So I thought I ran the green Petya, but it seems we've got the red one. <laughs> That's funny. But regardless, our computer is totally screwed up, and it is overrun with ransomware. So Ransom Free didn't do a very good job, in my opinion. Being a dedicated tool for ransomware, you would expect better results, considering I just tried ransomware and no other threat. So still a lot of work to be done. I think this is still kind of a beta product. I don't think it's quite ready for um, facing all the kinds of ransomware scenarios there might be. It is a step in the right direction. I think we need some kind of behavioral product to combat ransomware, but this is definitely not it, not at this point. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What are your experiences with Cyber Reason's Ransom Free? Is there something I did wrong or did I make any mistake causing the system to be screwed up? I didn't notice anything. But if you did, well, let me know in the comments. So I'll see you guys there.
This is Leo. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.